everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Ashley and I'm the volunteer coordinator at the Humane Society of Huron Valley. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really simple dog enrichment puzzle. Now enrichment is something that is designed to keep your animal occupied. Um, it keeps them mentally engaged. It keeps them from getting bored basically. Um, I do have two supervisors with me today. Um, so I have my cat Mini Kitty right here. And I also have my cat Kitty. <laughs> so they're just gonna be making sure that I do everything properly. Um, as I was saying, enrichment is something to keep your dog from getting bored. Just like humans like to play games or do a crossword puzzle, your dog needs to stay mentally engaged as well. And enrichment should allow them to express natural behaviors that they would normally do. Things like digging, um, using their sense of smell to track or find new items. Um, and that's exactly what our puzzle is going to do today. So the items that you need um, are an empty egg carton. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's a cardboard carton, not plastic or styrofoam, because your dog probably will wind up chewing on this a little bit. The next thing you need is dog treats. Um, any dog treats will do, but I really prefer ones that are a little bit stinkier. Um, so these are actually salmon flavored. Um, they're quite smelly, uh, so this will work really nicely. Um, and then the last thing that you need is tissue paper. Um, don't worry if you don't have any tissue paper at your home. Um, you could just skip this step or you could even use plain computer paper. All we're gonna do is open up our egg carton um, and we have each of our little sections here. You're gonna take a little piece of tissue paper. So I'm just gonna kind of rip this. That'll work fine. And then we're gonna open up our treats a treat inside the tissue paper and kind of crumple it up, wrap it up, and then we're just going to set that right inside of the egg carton. You can do this as many times as you want. Um, I'm going to be giving this to my dog, Olive, and she's on a bit of a diet, so I don't want her to get too many treats, so I'm only going to fill up a few of the sections of the egg carton. And take the treat, crumple it up, stick it in the egg carton. Something else you can do um, to make it maybe a little bit more appealing for your dog is add some peanut butter. Most dogs love peanut butter. Um, before you add this, you do want to check the ingredient list and make sure it doesn't contain xylitol. Um, xylitol is an artificial sweetener that isn't good for dogs. Um, so we're just going to open this up and you don't have to be too fancy with this. I'm just going to smear it inside one or two of the sections here. All right, the last step, um, and you can kind of customize this depending on how skilled your dog is at, at puzzles. Um, you can either just give it to them right like this with it open, um, and they can just kind of dig through the tissue paper. You can close it but not latch it all the way, or for your more advanced dog, you can close it all the way, latch it shut, and then they'll really have to kind of work to, to get it open. All right, so our treat is done, our puzzle is done. So let's go ahead, um, I'm gonna give this to my dog, Olive, and see how she likes it. All right, so this is my dog, Olive. Uh, she's very excited about her treat, as you can see. Um, she is about four years old, and I adopted her from the Humane Society of Huron Valley um, about three years ago. In the background, we have Robot, another HSHV alumni. Um, and uh, Olive actually came up on the love train. So she traveled all the way from Tennessee uh, to get here for me to adopt her. All right, let's go ahead and give her this puzzle. She is so excited about it. I'm just gonna set it down. As you can see, Olive absolutely loved her puzzle. Um, if you try this at home, please let us know. Comment below and let us know how your dog liked it. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye, guys.